Hey, how y'all doing? I tell y'all, today has been a busy day. My feet have been going since I hit the floor. I said, Lord, help us. It um, seems like every time I get going good and you think I got everything handled, I'm going to sleep in a little later, take me a little break. Something comes up every time. Anyway, Lord, did y'all see on the news where the bear got his nose stuck in the honey jar in, I don't know, New Jersey or somewhere? I thought that was, I mean, it was kind of precious, kind of cute, sweet, funny. But, Lord, I said, Jesus help us. As you can tell, Winnie the Pooh is my favorite. Like my Colonel Reb back here for Ole Miss. He, um, he that that's Winnie the Pooh. Dressed as the colonel. One of my friends painted that for me a year or two ago. But I, I thought that was funny. That ain't what I came to talk to y'all about though. Let me tell y'all something. If you have yourself a good yard maintenance man. Keep up with him. I'm serious. Keep him. Baby treasure him. Like you would treasure your million dollar bank account. That your granddaddy left you the other day. I have worked hard. I mean, I tell you, I have looked and I have looked and I have looked for a good yard man. I've had two or three attempts. They would come and they would cut this. And Lord, I had one get the weed eater out trying to trim my bushes with it because he didn't have a weed, uh, uh, one of them um, hedge trimmers. And I was okay with that, I guess. But it just... I'm very picky about my yard. I want it edged. I want the sidewalk. I want the curb. I want everything blown. I want it taken care of. I want it looking right, you know, respectable. And it, for, for some reason, I couldn't find a yard man who did it. I, I had one, and I asked him to weed and pull the weeds at the flower bed. Honey, you would have thought I asked him to, to go down to the bank and bring me back $500,000 without any kind of authorization. I said, Lord help us. We ain't ever going to find a good yard man. Um, I, I, It just seems like every time I get one, it's a mess. Well, finally one has come along. He's a very young boy, 16, but I'm very impressed with him. Today he, he came and he did the yard and he came in and got me and I walked with him and you know, we, he showed me everything he did, and I looked at this and looked at that. You know, just to kind of make sure he did what he was supposed to do and what I told him to do. And it looks good. It looks really good. I was very impressed with him. He plans on going to Ole Miss to be a dentist. And um, I have every bit of faith in him that he would do exactly that. His mom and daddy have done a good job raising him. But um, the, the yard just looks so good. I'm telling y'all. It's some lazy folks out there. Folks that that you tell, I want you to do my yard. I want it to look good. I want you to do this and this and this and this. And 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 they say, oh, yeah, I can do it. Oh, yeah, that ain't going to be no problem. And we'll say, you know, you just pay me this much money. And, I'll be, and, and you know, you do this and this and whatever. And when you get through with them, they did half the work, but want the whole pay, and then want to talk about you ain't paying them enough. First of all, I am not wealthy. Second of all, my money is my money. We done talked about that. Third of all, if I'm going to give you my money, you gonna, I'm, I'm going to make sure that I got my money's worth out of it because I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not looking to pay somebody to come in here and halfway do something and go home with a good paycheck. That just ain't how it's going to work. It's going to be weed eating. It's going to be edge. It's going to be blown. The bush is going to be shaped. The flower bed is going to be weeded out. It's going to look right. It's going to look good. If not, you can get your little cart, your little wagon, get in your car and go on back to the house because I'm not going to need your services anymore. That just ticks me off. And, 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 and yeah, y'all already know how I feel about them cigarette butts they throwing out of my yard and on my sidewalk and on the curb. You're going to blow them off my curb and everything, too. 
you're going to work if you're my yard man. But fortunately, the one I got is doing a he he did a good job today. And I've already explained to him that I always expect a good job, that I don't take a half job, that it's unacceptable, and I don't take less than your best. So I explained that to him. I even gave him a little tip today, which I rarely do. I normally don't tip, but I did tip him today because he did such a good job. So that went well. But anyway, I hope y'all doing all right. It's Wednesday. I'm going to tell y'all folks use the word hump day. Don't use that word. It's not classy, people. It ain't humorous. It ain't funny. It's called Wednesday for a purpose. But anyway, if you want to use hump day, that's your affair. It ain't, it ain't none of my business. You ain't got to have my approval. Ain't that the truth? Praise the Lord. Y'all let me know how y'all doing. Tell everybody that I said hello. And remember, we love y'all, and we'll talk to y'all directly. Now, y'all have a good night. Bye-bye.